Lipodystrophy is a medical condition that affects how the body stores and uses fat. You could have it on your face, your arms, or your legs. You could look more muscly or you could look skinnier. It's a rare disease and can affect people very differently. I was always tired, always sleeping, felt generally awful and was under the doctor for so many things because I just felt awful and everything was investigated. Still didn't know what was happening and then one day I went in to see my specialist and there was a new doctor and he said if, said if yours had skinny arms or legs and I sort of thought it's a bit strange to ask me that. Anyway I said yes. He said I think you've got this condition called lipodystrophy I was diagnosed with lipodystrophy about, about 18 months ago. Um, I have what's called uh, acquired generalised lipodystrophy and it's a, it's a condition that uh, means, uh, for me anyway, that I can't uh, metabolise fat any longer. It's a very rare condition. It's essentially stripped out all the fat from my body. Acquired partial lipodystrophy is what I was diagnosed with. So that means that it's not a genetic form. Um, there's no other history of it in my family. It's usually a post-viral or an autoimmune condition following a, a viral illness um, and that it's partial so it only affects part of your body. Mainly in acquired partial li lipodystrophy it affects the upper half of your body. A few people have it in the world and it's like some people can have other like ones of it, not just the same one. He was originally diagnosed with something called um, autoimmune hepatitis and after he recovered from that he went from being quite, he still had that baby fat to all of a sudden being really, really slim, muscly in his arms, his legs. And the doctor apologised for bringing so many doctors in with her, but she said that she wanted as many doctors as possible to, to, see, uh, to see our son um, because um, they, they might not see another case in, in their career. Generalised is when you have it all over, partial is when you have it in part of the body, but my particular one is atypical Pajero syndrome, so mine's got the Pajero aspect as well. It just means I age faster, a little bit faster, so like my heart ages faster. And they say that I've got the characteristics of Pajero, like the nose, the hands. I get knocked easily and hurt easily, um, and I also have no energy reserve, because fat is where you store energy, so I get tired very easily. I think my condition is progressive, so a lot of the things that come along with lipodystrophy like um, diabetes and things like that might come later on and it's very like varied because like people develop the different symptoms at different times. I have a partial lipodystrophy that is inherited, I have a lack of fat on my extremities, my arms and legs and I have a nice big double chin, fat around my face and um, a little bit on my torso. But actually what happens and what is dangerous about lipodystrophy is that when fat can't be stored as it should be in fat cells, it kind of spills out and gets stored in, in and around your organs, your muscles, your liver, your heart, etc. There's myself, there was my mum, there was my aunt, there's my cousin. Um, it seems to be the female side that are picking up, although it seems to generate from my granddad's side. Um, looking back in time, um, my family over in Ireland are exactly the same. I've always described lipodystrophy as having two people inside me, a fat person and a skinny person, and the skinny person has always won.